it has been raining so long, Noah would be like, damn. But we just can't sit inside forever. So I come out between, between rainstorms, even though it's spitting right now, and try to get something done. And what I want to get done now is talk to you about this pack. This is one of the packs. It's a Camelback pack that I got out of that um, big tub on wheels. If you're one of my five faithful subscribers, you remember I bought this, uh, just a box full of packs from this uh, army guy that was retiring. And this is one of them. It's a big pack for a uh, uh, frameless pack. It's pretty large. And like I said, it's a, it's a Camelback. Um, I can't recall right now what kind it is, but if I can find it again before I post this, I'll put it in there. Now, it came without a uh, waist belt, as you can see, and that, that, that's a problem because this is such a, a large pack and, and, uh, and heavy in its own right that once you filled it, I think it really would need a waist pack. Now, I'm not a huge fan of... Uh, large frameless packs and especially the ones that come with all the different pockets but in this case I mean this is this is a really nice pack I thought I'd, I'd uh, spend some time and see if I can't improve it a little bit now already I have added the uh, sternum straps it, it came without sternum straps and I added these little uh, doohickeys here I forget what you call those things to hold the sternum straps up I'm not happy with that that answer. Oh, that's the name of it. It's the BFM. It's the BFM pack. I'm not happy with that answer, uh, so I'm going to come up with some other doodad. I'm sure they sell something that does like a little cross grab, or maybe I'll just run a you know a plastic tie or something. But anyway, I need to get the sternum straps on there. And um, in addition, I want to get some some uh, a waist belt on it. But just real quick, I'll show you the pack. The very bottom has this, I, I call it a toiletry pouch. I mean, I'm trying to think of a military need for it, and I really can't think of one, a tactical need. So I call it a toiletry pouch. Um, it does have some, some uh, places to put straps on the bottom. Not a big fan of that, but you can do it. With a pack like this, with no frame, it would be slapping you. On front of the main trap, main pack, um, main pouch, you have that side pouch, and it's got some molly on it, and it's um, got the uh, pleats so that it'll expand out. The thing will hold way more than it probably needs to, although it's very heavy duty, and really it could handle the weight. The problem is, could you, without a frame, do you really want to handle the weight that this pack could pack? There's a what I call an admin pouch, I guess. I'm not the only one that calls it that. And uh, he's got room for radios. He's got room for all kind of admin stuff in here. And um, pretty nice. And then there's the actual main pouch. The main pouch has more of that uh, netting, like you saw in that toiletry bag pouch that zips up. And then it's got this cross... Um, buckle thing which really leads you to wonder what it's all about i mean it seems like it's really got a specific purpose but i don't know what it is maybe i can do some more research or maybe somebody out there can tell me what 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 the purpose is but that's a big pouch right there on either side there's a small accessory pouch which i cannot unzip one-handed there we go and that'll hold magazines or whatever you need. And it has molly on, on each accessory pouch. And then it's got compression straps, top and bottom. Then there's the zipper on the back here to access. And it's a zipper that goes on two sides. And that'll access the uh, pouch to put the bladder in. And then there's a, a port hole to go up and access all the different places that you could have that um, bladder hose coming out. Now, 
I almost think that in addition to a bladder, maybe this is designed as a comm pack because that would explain some of this. If this was made for carrying a radio, um, it would explain all the options up here. See, there's even another, another place for it to come out. So, what I want to do is I want to make this what I would consider a usable pack. So I contacted Camelback and they don't sell waist straps for uh, for this. They don't even sell uh, spare uh, buckles because they have these Camelback buckles and, and if you don't have the, the mail to it, you're out. But um, So I started looking around and this is what I came up with. So there that is, and now what we need to do is replace this buckle um, and put a mate on it so that those things can, uh, those supports can go on the hip belt. Luckily, we can do that. And I really recommend, if you don't have some of these uh, replacement Fastex buckles, they, they come in kits, get some of them, they're great, they really are. All right, so we cut off the uh, camelback females because they uh, can't. I can't get replacements. And what good are they if I can't get replacements? And I replaced them with regular government issue Fastex, and that worked fine. So now, with the addition of the uh, Arcteryx and the uh, which I still need to kind of figure out what I'm going to do there, but with the addition of the sternum strap, I'm happy. And I feel like that's a pack that I can load up for, you know, definitely a day. I'd even say a three-day trip. This is a good three-day bag now. Um, not tactical, maybe. Not a tactical three-day bag, but just a three-day bag for, like, going on a trip. I think tactically, if I was going on a three-day uh, uh, mission, I'd, I'd want more gear. Anyway. Thanks for uh, thanks for watching. Appreciate you.